So last night I did something pretty crazy, pretty interesting. And I want to talk about that in this video. It's something that I've never done, but it's, it was incredible. And it's something that I think if you haven't tried it yet, you should. Uh, and what I'm talking about is breath work. So I want to share my experience doing this last night because it's like, I'm still trying to process this. Before I get into the video, I just, I have to get this out of the way that like, my cat is literally, well one, I'm in my pajama pants. This cat, he's looking chill now, but he's trying to grab the microphone as I'm talking. Anyway, and that's actually a photo of him there. So if I uh, look down, it's my cat. Anyway, my video is not about the cat. Let me backtrack into why I actually signed up for this thing that was very, very different from what I usually do. Not that I'd say it's something I would never do because obviously I did it and I am very into new therapies or just trying new things in general. I mean, I'm a traveler and I feel like that's usually a character trait of people who are really into traveling is that you're like sort of up for anything and trying new things is interesting to you. And it's almost a way to travel when you're home. It's like, you know, what is travel? What's like the beauty of travel? It's having that feeling of something new, of discovering something new, of trying something new, sparking that curiosity. So it's it's basically how you can travel at home is, is trying these new things. You know, if you're new to this channel, I am a full-time travel blogger. I travel all the time as well. And I make videos about travel and travel blogging. I posted a video recently about my mindful morning routine. I'm very into journaling, yoga, meditation, visualization, all those great things. But lately I've been feeling a little bit stuck sometimes. Like sometimes I'll try to do a visualization and I feel so good about it. Like, yes, I nailed that. And then a lot of times I also feel like I try and I'm, I'm almost there but I just can't get there or I'm, I'm nowhere near getting there because these other thoughts just keep popping into my head. And the other thing is, as you know, I'm wearing my, my pajama pants at uh, you know, 3 p.m. On a, on a Thursday, I sometimes um, feel like I, I need to be in a group more, like I need to like leave my house and, and be among the people. And I do hip hop, which I absolutely love, but just in terms of, wellness and mindfulness and clarity and creativity and all these things that as a business owner are so important and as a human being you know to f for me to feel fulfilled those are things that are really important to me i've just been kind of like searching for what else i can try and i thought it would be interesting to do something new like this and also be in a group setting where you're kind of like working together and i'll get into this in a bit but that was so uh, powerful for me was being in this group so if you haven't tried breathwork before, there are many different kinds of breathwork. I've done it a few times, but this was definitely the most intense. We were breathing with our eyes closed for over an hour. So this was the longest I've ever done it, and this was transformational breathwork. Now I am not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, I'm not like an expert in breathwork. So, you know, if you want to try this, do consult a doctor first, because actually, I mean, this is intense. This is super, super intense practice. It's one of the most intense things I've ever done. So you definitely do want to consult a doctor, especially if you're you know, pregnant or you suffer from maybe panic attacks. Um, if you have a heart condition, those kinds of, of things, I would say you should definitely consult a doctor. When you look online, there are a lot of different opinions and I'll link some of the articles that I've looked at just about breath work and how this all works because it's really, really, really mind blowing to me that basically your body can produce its own DMT. So just backtracking a little bit, when you're born, like a baby, they are perfect breathers. Like they don't have stress. They haven't gone through all this trauma yet that we've all gone through because life is, is hard sometimes. I mean, we all have stress and anxiety and problems that we deal with just being alive on this earth. So, you know, babies are perfect breathers, but then as we get older and we deal with all the issues that life throws at us, we start to get irregular breathing patterns. We might hold our breath. We might like contract. We might you know, push these feelings and emotions and problems down and not appropriately deal with them. And this affects our breath. So with breath work, what happens is you're um, focusing on your breathing and what we were doing was basically breathing with our mouth open, like really hard. And for me, that was really interesting because I'm used to practices where you're 
breathing through your nose, yes, sometimes like breath of fire. Um, sometimes I'll do the open mouth breathing, but usually when I'm meditating or doing yoga, I'm doing through my nose, which I actually did yoga in India. And I remember my instructor just saying like, your mouth is for eating, your nose is for breathing. So I've always had that in my head. But anyway, there's different kinds of breath work. And for this kind of philosophy, it's open mouth. So because I am not, you know, a researcher or a scientist, I wanted to just read this paragraph from a website called Empower the Powerful, which I think just summarizes the opened mouth connected breathwork in a, a very great kind of succinct way. The website says, this causes an influx of oxygen into our system, depleting levels of carbon dioxide. This altered state triggers a release of molecule DMT from our pineal gland. DMT creates a bridge from the conscious mind to the subconscious, allowing our parasympathetic nervous system to kick in and rest our mind completely. A productive, gentle, and cleansing release of stagnant energies and stored stress can then take place. So I think that paragraph does a really good job of just kind of summing up what this is all about. And again, I'm going to link some interesting research articles in the description of the video if you want to know more. I never realized that you know, I knew, I know DMT is a drug that you can buy. I never realized it was something you could actually activate in your own body. So I found that really, really fascinating. And there has been a lot of research about using DMT, the actual drug for wellness benefits. So it's, it's all just really fascinating. And I will, I'll link some articles in the description. You know, the human brain thinks something like 50,000 thoughts a day, and not all of those serve us well. A lot of times you'll be getting creative or starting to get somewhere in your business or with your blog or whatever you do just in life. And these nagging thoughts will just come to you or they'll keep you up at night and they'll disrupt your sleep. What the breath work does is it allows you to deal with these things in a really interesting way. Like, you know, people go to therapy for years, but just even one session, I've heard that people can really have some like incredible, incredible, incredible breakthroughs. And yeah, I could say that I've left feeling this really, really crazy, renewed sense of energy. I felt like really clear and creative. I felt really energetic and not in the way that like 10 cups of coffee makes you feel like ah. it was more like really clean energy, I guess was, would be the way to describe it. So anyway, I will share kind of like my experience with what happened. And if anyone is interested in doing this in the New York, New Jersey area, just shoot me an email to jessie at jessieonajourney.com and I can give you the contact info of the person that I did it with. So the breath work was combined with another sort of therapy. And I'm not 100% sure if this is always how it is, but we started with just some Tai Chi kind of lifting up the energy and pushing it down and then singing, which it felt really good. Like when we first started singing in a group, I was a little weirded out. I'm like, mm, I don't know if I like this. And then as we started doing it more and more, it felt really good. It almost felt like kind of emotional for some reason, but um, we kind of grounded our energy and then we laid on these mats, super comfortable mats. And I had a hoodie on, I had sweatpants on, I was like ready to be comfortable. You have to hydrate a lot beforehand. This allows kind of, I guess, the energy to flow through your body better and also natural processes to happen more. Your body's gonna be kind of like flushing things out. So we laid down and I think they turned off the lights. Well, our eyes were closed. It definitely, it was dark. I think the lights were off. We were told to move our hands a little bit away from our body. Your hands, you know, have a lot of energy in them, which I didn't really understand at the time. Then what we did was we started breathing really, really deeply, like as deep as we could through our mouths. And at first I was so cold. Like after a minute, I was so cold. I honestly was, I started to feel scared. Like, how can I do this? I'm not going to make it through. This is so hard. And apparently that means that the energy is flowing through your body. So it's a good thing. A little bit of time went on and I kept having this weird feeling that I was like made of sand. I don't even, I can't even explain it. I felt like si the side of my face was granules that were moving around and it was kind of like moving all around my face. It was so weird. At one point I realized my face was really itchy and I wanted to move my hand to scratch it, but I like, I couldn't move my hands. Like, and I could feel so much power in my hands. Like I felt like if I was able to pick up my hands, I could have moved 
like a glass with, you know, the power of my fingers. And then I was breathing, I was breathing, and I started to sort of black out, but I wasn't asleep. It was like another, I, w I almost, I was like floating around the room. Like, I, I don't know where I went. And I heard the guy leading it, you know, say like, hey, come back to us. <laughs> like he could tell that I wasn't there probably because I wasn't, you know, breathing in succession with everyone. And that was the craziest thing about this was that there were about 10 of us and not everyone was in sync the whole time, but the um, kind of imagery that we were told is we're on a canoe and we're rowing together. You know, we're on the ship together. And our breathing was that rowing and doing it together was really, really powerful. At one point, I was hearing the two people next to me and they were in perfect rhythm. And when I synced up with them, that's when I started really getting like euphoric. And, and that was what was really interesting about this too, was that you, or I went from feeling scared to euphoric. It was like this journey there. And I started out, like I said, feeling like my body was made of sand to almost like water. Like I felt like so fluid, but then I felt so grounded with this energy, which sounds so strange. Like it's, it's so hard to explain, but it's a journey, just the on a journey, just the on a breathwork journey. Then when it got really, really, really intense and it was like the best feeling this, it, I went from being like, how can I do this? I'm so cold. I'm so uncomfortable to, oh my gosh, this is like so euphoric and amazing is when I did start to have some of the hallucinations people say, I mean, you can actually meet like angels, you can have angels come talk to you. I didn't actually you know, speak to anyone, but I was seeing things for sure. And it was, wasn't scary at all. It was really, really kind of euphoric and blissful. I remember getting like really high, like really like, okay, I've reached this point. Like this is, this is pretty crazy. And then I blacked out again. And um, I know like, I don't want to tell other people's experiences because after the whole session, uh, which, by the way, they do it to music, which was so helpful, too. Not like, you know, Beyonce and Justin Bieber, which I love Beyonce and Justin Bieber, but not appropriate for this activity. Really good beats to kind of get you energized and get you breathing and, um, and just get you in this moment. So afterwards, we came out and I uh, we get in a circle and we, we tell our experiences. And like I said, I don't want to tell everyone's experiences. A lot of people had similarities. But when we were talking about these things, I mentioned the blackout thing and I was like, I, I know I wasn't asleep because when he would come over to me, a, a few times he came over, he would like kind of rub your shoulders or, or, or rub your feet or, or kind of like touch you here or whisper in your ear like, you're doing great or come back to us, like that kind of stuff just to, to kind of coach you. I didn't like jolt out of a sleep. I sort of gently like floated back down to my body. I mentioned this when we were going over our experiences and he said that that's actually healing. That's your healing trauma, which was interesting because a lot of people in the circle had mentioned that they dealt with things and they could remember what they dealt with. I guess sometimes you could deal with trauma and not even know it because I didn't really have memories about what I was thinking about, which was crazy because I assumed that we were under we were under, we were, you know, in this place for 30 minutes. Like, how could I possibly do this for longer than that? That's what I was thinking. We were under for more than an hour, which is crazy. And I don't remember anything I thought. I remember the feelings. I remember my hands just feeling so powerful. I remember the cold. I remember the euphoric feeling. I remember visuals of what I saw. I do not remember like anything I thought about which I guess I was processing in the blackout. So anyway, that was um, such a powerful experience. And the reason I'm sharing this on this channel where I talk about travel and travel blogging and being a digital nomad and that whole experience is, I think this is really powerful for people that are dealing with creative blocks in their blogging business who are dealing with stress, anxiety, with trying to silence those 50,000 thoughts, with trying to kind of deal with problems that are keeping them from being their best self. And it sounds so, you know, woo woo, but it's so true. You know, I used to think of all these things as time wasters, like journaling, yoga. I have, I have things to do. I have like Facebook to schedule and Instagram photos to edit. The truth is when you're just go, 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 and you're not looking up to really think about how you're feeling and what you're doing and, and even look at what's working and what's not, and just giving yourself space to really be creative, um, 
you're not going to be your best self. You're going to be a shell of yourself, just like racing through the day, never looking up. That's not like probably the biggest lesson I've learned this year about myself is that when I can give myself an hour in the morning to just be with myself and think and relax and focus, I have the most creative thoughts and I have the most energy for the rest of the day. Not only that, but you're going to just be happier because when I was in that place of wake up, look at my phone, emails, da -da 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 -da, through the day, I was I wasn't happy, I wasn't enjoying myself, and I just, I didn't give myself any space to think about like, what do I want to create and put out there, and how can I do that in the most effective and most fun way possible? That's why I think this is such a powerful thing if you've never tried it. It's definitely different um, after the breath work, and I again, I don't know if this is what everyone does, because there was the breath work leader, and there was another kind of person that works with people we ended by um kind of rolling to our side for a song they put on some music holding a pillow that had been under our knees the whole time and just laying with that for a while and everyone kind of got up at their own time there was no rules it was really like your own experience and get the most out of this that you can and then there was singing and dancing before we went to the circle to talk just know going into this that it's not a yoga class it's not a meditation class it's really intense and it's really different and if you've never done something like this before it's going to feel weird but if you go in with an open mind and you don't hold back you don't resist which is common especially when you first start and you're cold and, and you start to feel that like fear you have to kind of just breathe and let that go and just say you know what i'm gonna do this i'm gonna take these deep breaths i'm gonna do it i'm gonna push past any blocks that i have you can get so much out of it i hope if anyone's been thinking about breath work, this was interesting. Um, if you've ever done it before, I would love to know in the comments what your experience was like. Like, did you feel the intense cold? Did you see anything? Did you have a rebirth? Did you cry? I mean, there's so many different reactions to this that you can have, and it's all really, really healthy because you're working through this stuff and you're gonna leave like, you know, in a new body, you're basically rewiring yourself, right? So really powerful stuff. If you want to know more about self-care and breath work, just give this video a like and let me know that I should create more videos like this. And make sure to subscribe so you get notified when future travel and travel vlogging videos publish.